of course, every greenhouse should have an alarm system. And we do right here. Let's take a look at this thing. This is a Sensophone 1104 designed by Phonetics Incorporated. You're probably wondering, what does this do? Well, for those of you who are new to this, let me tell you about it. It's an alarm system that monitors temperature, humidity, sound level, and it also has four circuits up here. When the circuit is completed, it sets off the alarm. They also connect as a thermometer, like we have one, this uh, number one right here. You can see the little thermometer on the end there. It's pretty neat how this works. Should an alarm trip, or should one of these circuits be completed by a thermostat that is in another part of the greenhouses or in the other two greenhouses down the hill, this alarm will then start calling our cell phones and our home phones. For example, say the temperature were to get too low. Let's see what its temperature limit Low temperature limit, 55 degrees. High temperature limit, 95 degrees. Okay, so say the temperature were to get too warm, for instance, or too cold. Basically, what happens is the alarm is triggered and then the phone line here is connected to the phone line. It will start calling our, like I said, our cell phones and our home phones. And then when it calls, it tells us what the problem is, whether which alert condition exists, if the temperature is too high or too low, or if the sound level is too high and the sound level meter came in pretty handy because this little meter here is a combustible gas meter. Should we get a gas leak in the greenhouse or a, lot, or a gas line would break, this meter would sense that gas and it makes a buzzing noise. So we have that right next to the microphone here and when this thing goes off, the microphone picks up the sound and then it'll start calling saying the sound level's too high. Well, we then interpret that the combustible gas meter has gone off and therefore something's wrong. We gotta get down here and shut the gas off ASAP. So let's go ahead and simulate, uh, let's see, an alert condition. These greenhouses can get a little bit cooler because we have perennials back in here and we're usually only working here in the daytime so we don't worry about it getting a little cooler at night and we save electricity by having the blower running less frequently. So here's our little thermostat. Uh, it's upside down but you get the picture. This middle needle is the current temperature right now, 60, 62 degrees. Here's the high temperature limit and the low temperature limit. Let's say the temperature got too low. We don't want it to go below 45 degrees in here and we certainly don't want it to get down to 32 because our water lines would freeze and break and we would have a big mess. So let's go ahead and simulate that it gets too cold. All right, the connections are made, the circuit is completed and the alarm detects a problem. Now we have this set up so that in case somebody would bump these needles and then put it back into position, we have it set up so that the recognition time on this alarm is one minute. The circuit must be completed for one minute for the alarm to start making calls. In about oh, 40 or 50 seconds now, I should be getting a call on my cell phone and the alarm will tell me that alert condition 2 exists. So let's see what happens here. We'll go back to the alarm system.
There we go. And this alarm should start calling my cell phone. There we go. Let's answer the call. I'll turn on speakerphone so you can hear. The time is 9.02 a.m. Alert condition 2 exists. Oh. It lets us listen to the sound level, which uh, caused that echoing. So. The time is 9.02 a.m. Alert condition 2 exists. So that's alert condition 2 right there. So it's telling me that the temperature in our workspace, or the head house as we call it, has dropped below the, the minimum or the low temperature limit. Alert condition 2 exists. Alright, now what this thing will do is it'll have indicate me... You have received warning message. It'll have me indicate that I received the warning message by calling back our greenhouses and confirming that I've received this message and I'm going to do something about it. So it's going to... 1507 within 30 seconds. Alright, so I'm going to hang up and call the greenhouses back within 30 seconds. Okay, dialing. There's the phones ringing. And there's the uh, machine picking up the call from my cell phone. The time is 9.04 a.m. Number 166 degrees. That's the current okay. temperature of the other Number greenhouses. Number 2 exists. Number, Number two three. exists. Okay. Number 4 off. Okay. Number 4 is off because we don't Electricity have a hookup. Electricity is on. Replace batteries. Sound level okay. Warning message received by telephone number. So then it says that my cell phone has received the uh, warning message and it anticipates that I'm going to do something about it, so it will stop calling. If I weren't to receive this message, if I didn't answer my phone, it would continue to call my dad's cell phone, my mom's cell phone, and our home phone. And it would continue calling for 255 times, or until we receive the message and confirm that we're going to do something about this alert. So now that we've received the alarm, let's go ahead and set this back. Now we know that the test has completed successfully. We'll go back and reset the alarm. Have a good day. Hello, this is Sensophone 1104. Now let's check the status. Hello, this is telephone number. So then, while that tells us the status, we'll be able to see if everything's working properly. Time is 9.05 a.m. Number 167 degrees. Okay. That's this current temperature. Number 2. Okay. Number 3. Okay. Number 4. Off. Okay. The electricity is on. Replace batteries. Sound level okay. We're good. Everything's working fine. So that's how your Sensophone 1104 works, and it's a must-have for any greenhouse business because you need to know if you're starting to have problems.